Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. Today's verse comes to us from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 4, and it simply says this. For we who are in this tent groan, being burdened, not because we want to be unclothed, but for the clothed that mortality may be swallowed up by life. In my mind, I am forever young. There is nothing that I cannot do that I used to do until I try to do it again. And my body tells me that this old tent is not the same as in our bodies are slowly fading away. Now, we may become aware of the frailty of our human existence at a very early age, but we are more conscious of it the older we get. I mean, I used to think that 30 was old until I turned 30 and 40 was old until I turned 40. And now that I'm over 60, none of these benchmarks seem to be very old to me at all. Indeed, time marches on. It stands still for no man and youth is swallowed up in time. You're simply not the same. I mean, I used to run six minute miles in my early 50s and something happened at mid-50, I'm not sure what happened exactly other than weight jumped on and speed jumped off. And those times that I used to run, they are nothing more than a distant memory. Paul describes our bodies as a tent, a tabernacle that we are clothed in, but our bodies are fading away. Why is that? See, we were never meant to live forever in these earthen vessels that have been corrupted by sin. And when this tent is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made by hands eternal in the heavens, verse 2. This is our glorious hope. And with eternity in view, we groan, we long for, yes, we even ache to be further clothed that mortality will be swallowed up by life. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would have a safe day. Have a wonderful day. And then tune in again tomorrow. Yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.